So imagine they eat 250 kilos a day. I know they, they seem so strong. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't get into a fight with them. So we are on our way to the Monsoon Valley Vineyard and uh, it's about a 45 minute drive from Guahin and the nature here is uh, quite stunning. The vineyard was recommended by several people and uh, yesterday also Johnny told us that this was one of the nicest things you can do here in Guahin so uh, looking forward to that. To the monsoon valley, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, you buy the entrance water here. Two hundred okay. baht per person, but oh. you can use water to redeem food and drink. Oh, okay. okay. Perfect. And thank we you. not serve alcohol, nah. Okay. okay. No problem. Thank you. You can buy take home. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Salika. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you cannot see it. Kapunka, <laughs> look at the stickers. Okay. Thank you. Kapunka, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. This looks nice. So, this is the restaurant. We just arrived here at the Monsoon Valley Vineyard and the views here are absolutely stunning. So there's a big vineyard down here. We are very lucky with the weather. So here you have the restaurant where you can have a lunch and at the moment unfortunately it's not possible to, to get a wine. So here you have all the areas and the distance from it. So if you want to go to Mendoza and Argentina, 17,281 kilometers. So the Rhine Valley is not far from where I come from. So that's about 9,000 kilometers. Rioja or Napa Valley. In this restaurant you can uh, normally you can do a wine tasting I guess by the 1st of November it will probably open up all so that you can do some wine tasting here as well but for now we can just uh, eat absolutely stunning so here you can rent the bicycles 30 minutes for 100 baht 60 minutes for 150 and they look pretty nice and you can take a vineyard tour here with the safari bus. So let's try out if that is possible. Yeah, this is uh, this seems to be like a nice day out. I'm actually surprised that we never had the idea to come here before. So if I read it correctly, they started in 2002. Look at these views. 
you know that I always make my videos about the apartments in Bangkok and they have spectacular views but uh, they cannot touch this so here you have the shop where you can normally do a bit of wine tasting and you can buy the wine Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Peter. Yes. From Switzerland. Yes. And I've been living here six years, and okay. this is one of my favorite places. I think it's lovely, eh? Hawaii. Okay. My name is Rene, also from Switzerland. We're living here near Petroburi. Very nice. Uh, born in Hawaii, but that's the first time here. Like Your first time here yeah. also? Okay, so you're just as impressed as I am, I guess. But the views here are really stunning. This is almost like Switzerland, right? Yes. You is. guys must feel home. Well, actually, it's like, like Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch in uh, <laughs> South Africa. Really? <laughs> Very nice. shop so these are all wines that are made here in the valley as I said unfortunately we cannot try them now so we might have to come back another time okay so we're gonna try and have a bit of lunch Also hot, right? Near rice. Yeah, because it's salad. All this is salad here. Yeah. You can order it hot if you want. No, but they can So there is the bus tour that we're gonna take now. And this was 300 baht, and that means that we're gonna get the tour through the valley and we're gonna be able to feed the elephants as well so let's go it almost looks like a Jurassic Park I hope yeah. there's no dinosaurs yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go are you ready for an adventure I am are you guys ready for an adventure yeah. <laughs> always so let's make sure we don't meet the t-rex right <laughs> oh and the Sun is coming out exactly on the right moment now we call it for you So we're gonna go and visit the elephant sanctuary as well, where we're gonna be able to feed the elephants. Uh, we don't have to ride the elephant. So they were explaining before that the, it's not the grape season now. The grape season is in February and March. So you won't see the grapes now. 560 acre? Yes. Okay. I like your name. <laughs> For the Harvard Festival, we have activity tour and cut the bread and get something and make your food wine. When is that? Uh, February. Uh, February also at the same time. Right? Something, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the skin of your feet will get nice and uh, soft <laughs> from all the antioxidants. So he was just explaining that 
40% of the grapes that they make here are white grapes and 60% are red. So, and there is a factory in Samusakon, so they are not producing the wine here. This is only the vineyards. And the same company has vineyards here and in Chiang Mai. So it takes about one kilo to make one bottle of wine, one kilo of uh, grapes. And they are making 300,000 bottles a year. And uh, a big part of that is uh, being exported. We go to the elephant sanctuary, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what's your name? Um, yes. Kun A. Kun A. Nice to meet you. Sabarikap Kun A. <laughs> Thank you for all the information. So Kun A is going to show us the road to the elephants. Yeah. So there is different tours that you can do and uh, for 100 baht you just have the, the ride around that we just did and we paid a little bit extra so we can go to the elephant sanctuary so there's two elephants here and we can feed them and they are not riding these elephants it's just uh, a sanctuary so here we are at the elephant sanctuary you have a ticket please you have a ticket i should i should okay Mm -hmm. Yeah. By three or four? Uh, yeah, he has one also, okay. but. So Kun A, who is who? This is uh, Kelta. 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 Kelta, yeah. This what is so the story? How old they are? Uh, 35 and 37. 35 and 37. Are they uh, ah. boys or girls? Girls. Girls, okay. And, and they are sisters or what? Friends. They're friends. <laughs> okay. Don't forget the other one. No, no, no. Come on. Don't forget the other one. Oh, sorry, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, nice. No, he likes the leaves. How long, how long have they been here? You keep here, no? Keep. Mm. Around 10 years. 10 years, okay. Yeah. And you are the Mahut? Mahut? Yes. You are the Mahut? Yes. Okay, very good. Sawadee so khab. Kun chuhai Eat. Eat. Kun eat. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't ride this one, no? Not sit. Very good. Very good. Can <laughs> eat? How many kilo they eat? Eat per day? Yeah. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, not only the banana. Okay. And food is uh, glass and the leaf. Final Two hundred fifty. Wow. Nice. So let me. Here you are. Nice to see. Whoops. You want to play this one? You feed him. You feed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She thinks, don't forget about your hand. Give me the banana. Hey. 
So imagine they eat 250 kilos a day. I know they, they seem so strong. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't get into a fight with them. <laughs> oh, there you have it. This one is stronger. Here, yeah, one more. Wow. Here, you give it to okay. This one. <laughs> nice. So these two girls are 35 and 37 years old. We're just about to land in <laughs> So this is where I will end our story about the monsoon vineyards in Hua Hin. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next video. <laughs>